Hey, hey, hey. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Happy Wednesday. What's going on? Good to see everyone already getting on here early. I love all these early birds. We got a fun call. It's not going to be a long call tonight. I always say that, but tonight I uh, just got some fun information for you. Starting off a new month. We got a new month. Happy November. Congratulations to all those that closed out October strong. Hopefully you guys all had an amazing Halloween with the kiddos, the grand kiddos, the partying, whatever you were doing. But um, excited to get into November. We got a lot of fun things going on this month. And uh, and we got some fun holidays, you know. It's it's uh, in the U.S. here. We've got uh, Thanksgiving. I know Can Canada just had their Canadian Thanksgiving just a little bit ago, but um, in the U.S. we've got our Thanksgiving coming up here at the end of the month. So I'm sure you guys have all got some fun plans for that. Got family coming over, coming in town. Put a five in the comments if you're cook cooking. Put a three in the comments if someone else is cooking. I love it. I love seeing the threes. That's always, it's always fun when you get the year where you're, you get to be the three, where you get to, it's fun when you're the three. Every happen often, but every once in a while, when you get to be the three, it's fun. I want to be the five this year. So I'm going to be hosting a bunch of people over at our house and I'll be doing all the cooking. For those of you that don't know, I do all the cooking in this house. And, uh, so I'm I'm doing all the the breakfast, lunch, and dinners for all the kiddos and for everyone. It's a lot of fun. I I enjoy it. It's it's uh it's my uh, therapy being in the kitchen making fun new dishes and all that stuff. So I like it. There you go, Jennifer Kirby's avoiding her family getting sick. She knows that that's that's the safe bet. Um, I love it. I love it. So uh, as always, as we're getting started here, let me know where you're watching from. I know a bunch of people are just hopping on. Super excited for tonight's call, but let me know where you're tuning in from. As always, I am out here on the East Coast in Pennsylvania. I see South Carolina's tuning in. Mexico's in the house. What's going on? Seattle's going in the house. Missouri's in the house. Nebraska's here. Ohio's here. Yakima's here. What's going on? I see Texas and Washington and Louisiana and New York and North Carolina. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is awesome. Think about how cool it'd be. I just want you to think, look at the, the all the cities in here. And if you don't see a lot of people saying your city, I just want you to think about how cool it would be. Just as we start this call out, just I just want you to think about how cool it would be. Let's say that you just said, you know, Louisiana, and maybe there's only one or two other people that have said Louisiana so far. Just think about how cool it would be if like six months from now, there was like 20 people from Louisiana on this call and they were all part of your team. California, think about if, if, uh, if you know, so now there's 20 new Californians on this call, all from your team. Alicia, think if there's 10 new Texans coming on this call, all from your team. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we're going to get started with tonight's What's Up Weekly Call. Alberta's in the house. Canada's in the house, as always, representing Delaware. Good to see you. Appreciate you guys taking the time out of your evening to come hop on here, get some updates. I want to start by talking a little bit. Um, I was chatting just a little bit this evening with Gabrielle Merrill, um, and she had a really good point. How many of you have had someone reach out to you in your organization that you haven't talked to for a long time saying, I got a message about a uh, I got paid. What is all this about? Why, why am I getting a message from the happy code that I just got paid? So if you haven't seen this, and, and this might only be applicable to some, but there is a, if anyone had wallet, whatever amount in their GPG wallet, it was transferred over by payout and they were sent a message saying, hey, you were paid, obviously, and then this new payment system. And so a great I think this was a great tip. Gabrielle and I were chatting about this. A great way to follow up with those that might have fallen off and maybe they had 10, 15, 20 dollars sitting in their account or something like that. And this is that the reminder of, hey, yeah, no, what's going on over there? What's going on? Yeah, no, I had five dollars in my account. It just reminded me, you know, what's what's going on over there? Um, so I thought that was a great reminder. But in that same vein, we have now transferred over to iPayout 
A lot of emails have been going out this evening with the commission run that transferred over all, I believe, all the funds over from GPG over an iPay. Make sure if you have any issues or if any of your money did not transfer, that you reach out to customer service and we get on top of that right away and we make sure that your, your funds get transferred over. But hopefully everyone has had a smooth transition. Hopefully everyone has gotten their, uh, they're all set up on their new iPayout system. Um, put a three in the comments if you're liking iPayout so far. Um, pretty smooth. It, everyone's liking it so far. Okay, cool. I, I Again, it is an, it is an all upgraded system. And I think that come time, once, oh, as you guys start to use it over this month and next, uh, you're going to see the, um, the expedited rate in which you're seeing money go from your wallet into your bank account. So I think it's going to be a lot better. Yeah, Aaron said there's an app. Again, just a lot simpler. It's a lot more fun. And again, very simplistic. That's, that's the vein that we are looking to be in. Um, Sandy, if you have not received any information on iPayout, make sure that you reach out to customer service. Um, or check your spam folder because a lot of times that can fall in your spam folder. And um, and what that will do is, is you just miss it sometimes. So make sure you check your spam folder is everyone, if your email is in the system, everyone got an email when it comes to the, the GPG I payout transition. Um, you can reach out to your upline. They can walk you through it and stuff like that as well. You guys all have leaders you can reach out to and ask for support, but customer service is here to help you. And if you did not get that email, please make sure. Um, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. So uh, also want to let you guys know, um, I'm trying to read all the comments. So I'm not going to be able to keep up with all the comments. A lot of questions coming in. I'll try to check them and I'll try to get back to everybody, I promise. Um, I want to let you guys know about our next book, our book for the month of November. Put a five in the comments. If you guys have been keeping up and hopping on Mindset Mondays with me. If you guys have been hopping on Mindset Monday with me, put a five in the comments. If you haven't, I'm not going to make you put anything in the comments. Just come hang out with us. If you can, I get it. Uh, you know, it's it's later in the evening sometimes, just like What's Up Weekly, except it's, a, you know, an hour later. So for the East Coast, it does tend to get a little bit late. But I'm always there. And, uh, and we have fun. The calls don't go too long this month. This month, we are going to be uh, reading the book, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Put a, put a three in the comments if you have read The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy before. It is an amazing book. And we are going to be reviewing it uh, piece by piece. And so I'm glad to see that a couple people have read this book already. That makes me happy. It is a staple in our space. Another thing for uh, ordering, it is great if you like to mark it up, but I did see on Audible today that this book is free to download on Audible. So if you want to listen to it as well, go over to Audible and you can download it. This gives you no excuse. I try to limit the excuses for all the people that are like, you know what, I just, I couldn't buy it. And I don't have the money to get, you don't have to, it's free. It's free. It's yours. It's waiting for you. It's at your fingertips. Knowledge at your fingertips. It's just waiting, waiting for you to grab it and use it. So I'm going to be like always. I have read this book as well, but I am going to be reading it again with you. We are going to be going through it piece by piece. Um, I believe that I'm probably going to cover the first two chapters on Monday. So if you're keeping up and you want to keep up, cover chapter one and two and come prepared with uh, some thoughts on those chapters. That's what we're going to be focusing on. And I'm really excited about this. I, I think that this book is going to bring a lot of value to a lot of people that hop on. And especially for those that have not read it yet, like I said, this is a staple in our profession. So definitely worthwhile you getting it, you reading it. A lot of the books are really... A lot of books we've read in the past are, are very mindset driven. Uh, the one thing was very focused. Uh, you know, the one thing was a little bit more focused. This one's going to be like the one going to be a little bit more focused. And so, uh, so, so glad to see everyone's already adding it to their library. So glad to see people are already getting it downloaded. That is awesome. I love it. And I think that you guys are going to love it as well. Um, we are doing a fun little promotion starting today. Some of you have probably seen it uh, as it was uh, soft launched yesterday in the back office, 
but we are starting, marketing came up with a little, uh, I shouldn't say, well, it's gonna be a great social media campaign. And so I'm gonna share this and go like this, bam. Share my happy reel contest. I want you guys all to take a screenshot of this or take some notes if you are. We'll have all this there for you on your daily dose happy as far as what to do. But what we are going to do here is, is this is just a fun little way to, to, to play with the creative side of your brain. So number one, we are going to be asking you guys to create fun videos showcasing your favorite happy products for a chance to win up to $500 in Happy Co. swag. Now, this is not the only, yeah, we're going to have multiple prizes we're going to be giving away, but the, the top prize is going to be $500 in Happy Co. swag. And uh, there's just a few parameters. It's very basic. It's very simple. I'm going to give you some do's and don'ts here in a minute. But uh, number one is you just record uh, up to a 15 second video. Do me a favor, put a five in the comments if you have ever made a reel before. If you've ever made a reel before, put a five in the comments or a TikTok or whatever. Yep. Okay, cool. A lot of you guys have done this before. Put a three in the comments if you've never made a reel before. If you've never made a TikTok, you've never made a reel, you've never done anything like that. So this is going to be fun, I think. And again, this is just, this is meant to be a fun little challenge if you want it. This is not some mandatory you got to get involved. This is, this is fun if you want it. So number one, you record up to a 15 video. Number two, you complete the entry form with the link to your video file, which I'll explain in a minute about that. And number three is you share it on your own social media account with the hashtag ShareMyHappy. Now, this is going to run now until November 22nd, and we're going to announce the winner on November 30th. Um, but let me talk about a couple of do's and don'ts here. I was, I don't think these work, but these were just some examples. And, and when I share the videos on your daily dose app, you'll be able to see a couple of examples of some other reels and some ideas and stuff like that, that you could play with. But here's some do's and don'ts. Number one, you can submit up to four videos here, y'all. So play with it, have some fun with it, but don't go crazy. We don't need a hundred videos. You get up to four. So submit more than one increases your chance of winning. Cause we're going to do some drawings with these the people that turn them in. So every video that you turn in, entry into the drawing. And, uh, and so, yeah, so we're going to be, we're going to, you can turn in up to four. Number two, pose a question or engaging comment at the beginning of the video in the first three seconds. These are fun little do's, ideas of, in which you can do. A lot of you are very creative, but for those of you that might've never made a reel before, here's some just, uh, tips for you. Keep text to a minimum. Add your personal touch and story if you can. Showcase the products in a real life setting. And uh, if you'd like, add a holiday or winter theme to your video. Some don'ts. Uh, make sure that it's not too cluttered. Don't make sure, make sure that you're not doing any claims that will disqualify your video if you're making any claims or unfounded, uh, you know, uh, medical stuff like that. Stick to the product facts. Um, refrain, or refrain from comparing Happy Co. products to other uh, similar products on the marketplace. And don't use filters that would affect the color of the product packaging. So sometimes when you use weird filters, it'll make the, the, the color of the packaging look completely different than what it actually is. And so this is going to be a fun little challenge. And I hope that you guys all take advantage of it. You are going to be getting an email, which you always get uh, uh, after this What's Up Weekly, every Wednesday evening that goes out is the follow-up email for What's Up Weekly. In that email at the very top, there's going to be a button that says, uh, you know, submit your, uh, your video. Click on that and that will take you to the entry form. So if you're looking for the entry form to submit your video, it will be embedded within that email. We'll also have it in some other places, I'm sure. But that's one place that you can find it easily within your inbox. Um, your destination tracker is now live. Destination paradise tracker in the back office is now live. I do want to remind you guys that it is not fully updated yet. And so while it is live, we are still working to update the points from convention. We're updating the points from mindset Monday and from the super Saturday, stuff like that. 
So just know that we are still working to get those points fully updated, but it is up and running. And so hopefully you guys are seeing some progress moving across the bar. And then once we get those points for all of you that were at convention and got your free 20 points just for being a convention, you're going to see that bar tick a little bit further. For those of you that were on Mindset Monday and just happened to be blessed by the five points that we gave away for being on Mindset Monday, you're, those are going to show up on there. If you were on the Super Saturday, another three points. I want you guys to think about that. 28 points could be in there and you could not have actually done anything other than just show up. It's pretty unbelievable. And so hopefully you guys are making some progress. I've been seeing the numbers and I'm excited to see some new people coming on board and running with this. That's what I like to see is some of our new brand partners coming on and utilizing those triple points. Do not forget every new brand partner going on gets triple points. Not only do they get triple points in the month that they enroll, but their next full calendar month. For someone that comes in on the 5th, of November, for someone that comes in today, what's today, the, the second, let's say you brought in a brand partner today, they're getting triple points for practically two full months. Think about that, that gives someone the ability to potentially qualify in by the end of the year. It's unbelievable. So I want you to keep that in mind and always make sure you're checking your back office to see how you are tracking. Super Saturday this month, you guys, plug in. November 19th, this is your next chance to earn some Destination Paradise points. Three points on the board, and this will be our last Saturday that we will do before the end of the year, as we will not have one in December, and we will be leading towards our January kickoff event on January 7th, which we'll talk about in a, seven, in a, in a second. But make sure you take this QR code and you get yourself registered. Make sure you are registering your guests. One thing I want to talk about here for a minute. This is, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Y'all, um, put a five in the comments if I can give you some tough love in the best way possible. Some loving love. All the best love. All the good love. So we had almost 500 people registered for our last Super Saturday. We had just around 200 people in attendance. Do you know what that tells me? That tells me that you guys got a lot of prospects registered for that call. And for one reason or another, that they, they just weren't there. They didn't show up. And so for this next Super Saturday, let's plan, do, review, right? The definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, y'all. Let's not do that again. If we, we invited 20 people to the call, and no one showed up, what, what's your plan to follow up differently this, this time? What's your plan? If your people, it wouldn't let your people in, if there was a glitch or for whatever reason, it wouldn't let your people in. I don't know why that would happen, but if for whatever reason, it wouldn't let your people in, totally understandable. I understand if there is an issue on technicality side. But what I want to say is for the majority of us on here, I want to just, I want this to be a learning moment and saying, how can we turn what well, was 200 into the 500 that were registered? And so the big focus is following up. Like Pia said, we got to follow up better. How can we follow up better? A lot of that is utilizing your upline. One of the strongest things that my father would do when I was building back in the day he would allow me to lean on him. And I think that your upline is there for you to lean on them in every form or fashion. And what my father would do and what he trained me to do is if we had a Super Saturday event, I would call every single person that I invited the day before the event. I would schedule out calls and he would be on the phone with me for every single one. He would be on the phone. It would like, we would dial them together. And I would say, hey, what's going on, Pia? How you doing? Hey, I've got my dad on the line here. Honestly, I was telling him about you. And he just, he literally told me I had to give you a call. So I just, I was calling you real fast. And he just wanted to say a few things. And he would get, Pia, I, hey, Taylor was telling me a little bit about you. And honestly, I am so fired up for tomorrow. I was so excited when I heard that you were going to be on the call. And just know that I'm going to be looking for you. 
I can't wait for you to hear the information. I'm excited to follow up with you afterwards and hear what you love best about what you heard. I just wanted you to know that, that I've heard just some amazing stuff about you and I'm excited to see your potential flexed here if this is the right opportunity for you. Do you think P is getting on the call tomorrow? She wouldn't miss that call for the world. So again, I want you to think, so maybe you had some people, but not everyone you invited. I want you to think about how can we elevate our game? How can we elevate what we're doing? How can we step it up a notch? How can we follow up? How can, it doesn't need to be an upline. It can be a sideline sister. It can be a sideline friend. It can be someone that you're working alongside that you just say, hey, let's do some calls together. I'll support you with your prospects. You support me with mine. And it doesn't need to be this calling your prospect and say, hey, can I call my upline and they wanted to talk to you. Is that weird? No. Shock and awe, baby. Shock and awe. You got two minutes because I was just forced into calling you. I was telling my friend about how awesome you were and they said, call her. I got to talk to her. Love on him. Pour love on him. Think about that. That prospect. Okay. I kind of feel like a big deal now. I kind of feel like, you know, I kind of feel cool. Like, you know, someone thought that much of me that they made them call me. Okay. And number two, I'm pretty excited to get on tomorrow's call because someone is looking for me. Most of the people aren't getting on your call that you're inviting them to because they don't feel like anyone's looking for them. And maybe you are, but maybe you are not enough. And that's not like a, it's maybe they need some more validation. Maybe they need some more, someone else to hold their feet to the fire. Maybe they need someone else that's not as close to them that they feel like they would be letting, maybe they've let you down in the past. And then for them, that's just like what it is. But you bring someone else on, it's hard to let a stranger that believes in you down. See what I'm saying? So I want you to focus on that as we pour into this call. I don't want you to think about Super Saturday on the 17th as the call is on the 19th. They go, oh yeah, no, I got to push for that call. I got to call some people. Who's going to be on there with me? Or even worse, I'm just going to get the free three points for Punta Cana. I'm just going to show up and get my points. You can do that. I get it. But you're only hurting yourself. That's what I, 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 that's the biggest thing is we are lining up the best of the best to present this opportunity in the best way possible and then to pour on and getting started training right afterwards. It was amazing. Last week was incredible. Or the, the, the last Super Saturday we did. So do not sleep on this. Let's make sure that we push this Super Saturday. Let's make sure that we fill it up and let's make sure that everyone that we get registered for, we follow up with them to make sure that we're doing everything in our power to make sure they're, they're seeing what we're presenting on the 19th. Um, back to my PowerPoint. All right, next up. New Year's kickoff event. Make sure you take a screenshot of this. I'm going to talk about it every single week. If you guys don't have this QR code for every new brand partner, for every customer, for everyone you bring on, they need to be registered for this event. This is going to be, this is going to be a blowout. This is going to be the best possible way you could start the year. This is going to be the best possible way everyone in your entire network can start the year is to be at this event. Again, this is a free event. This costs nothing to be a part of. We could have very easily charged $50, $79, $99 for a virtual ticket to this event. Easily. I believe that by making it free, not only are we going to bring incredible blessing to a lot of people that might not have been able to afford it, but we're also going to be able to reach 
hopefully hundreds of customers that will come be a part of this event with us just to hear about some of the new and amazing updates, the new things that we're going to be announcing. Um, that's my hope. So make sure you got that. Make sure you have the QR code. Last but not least, who's ready for this? This bald guy, this crazy bald guy to come teach us how to take our business to the next level this Saturday. I am excited. Do me a favor, put a five in the comments if you're excited for the master class this Saturday. I am fired up. I'm fired up. It's going to be a good conversation. Me and him are going to go deep. And the fun thing when it's just me and him is we uh, we go on some tangents sometimes, um, but we're going to get into some, some nitty gritty stuff. Uh, we're going to go deep. And um, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's going to bring, he's going to bring the fire. And again, like I've said, I'm opening up this masterclass to everyone in the entire company, not just brand partners, everyone. If you have someone in your life that has an entrepreneurial bone in their body, it would be a benefit for them to be on this call. Load it up, y'all. This Saturday, noon Central Standard Time, the link will be a part of the email that comes out. So you'll have the link. It's going to be a Zoom link. It's, you know, we'll, we'll make sure it's, but it's going to be to everybody. And, uh, you know, he's going to be tuning in from the Maldives. He was, uh, this last Saturday, he was leaving Necker Island, hanging out with Richard Branson. And, and now he's in the Maldives. I'm, I just can't, I'd give him so much crap. I'm like, you got it. Just enough, enough, enough is enough. But um, if you know him, if you follow him, he, he, he goes big. And so, uh, so he's going to be tuning in from the Maldives and bringing some incredible value for each and every one of you. And so I am very, very excited about that. Um, with that being said, I think that's, let me think about, we talked about I pay out. We talked about the social media little fun promo we're doing we talked about the compound effect by darren hardy is our new mindset monday book we talked about uh what did we talk about we talked about running we talked about running in november we talked about making this super saturday count we talked about we talked about all of it y'all i think we got it all i want you guys to know um these are the months where a lot of people check out. These are the, these are the slow months in network marketing. I want you guys to dig deep and I want you guys to show this space who we are in the months when everyone settles down you're going to see us pour on the gas. Like I just say, that's so funny. You're going to see us pour on the gas in a lot of ways via social media. You're going to see a lot more business for home coming out. You see a lot more on our social presence of us get a lot louder when it comes to things that we're doing. But we are asking. And I know it's a, I know it's a, might be an aggressive ask. And maybe I'm only talking to a select few on this call. But maybe this is the year that you're the three instead of the five when it comes to Thanksgiving dinner. You put that responsibility on someone else so you're not taking a full week preparing a meal and you're bringing a couple pies that you get from the store because it allows you the time to focus the energy and where you need to focus it on. You know, maybe it's, you, you, you get very selective and you go on Amazon and you get your Christmas presents done now. So you're not sitting there for three weeks in December, running around shopping every other day and saying, well, I got to do this. I got to, you know, I got to, I got to get Christmas done. I got to, you know, I've been so busy with this, that, and the other. Yo, these are the moments where I need you to realize you're here already. You've seen this. You see the beauty of this. You see how much potential there is. You see how much blessing come from these products. I want to remind you that this is a season that 
so many people are hurting. So many people are sitting and wondering how they're going to pay for Christmas for their children. They're sitting and wondering how they're going to, to do it, how they're going to keep the lights on, let alone put presents under the tree. All these nonstop reports of inflation consistently going up more, 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 nonstop, 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 nonstop. I think of this as like the, the secret Santa mentality, you know, the, the giving gifts that you don't know where it comes from. Like, this is the opportunity that we just have to bless people that are looking for what we have right now. They are looking for what we have. Sandy, I had someone tell me today that she's prayed for this. Exactly. Exactly. Think about a hundred Xing that. Think about a hundred people telling you how much that their life. Think about, I mean, it just, the more you have that moment, the more selfish you have not sharing it. That's how you feel. And so I just want to be very, very cognizant of this season. While you might be checking out, I want to be very, it's almost like a responsibility. You were given a gift of hope. And we have the opportunity to give that to the hopeless. Remember that. Don't forget that. Don't forget what a blessing you are in so many people's lives. Just as you are right now. Enough right now. The pursuit of growth is beautiful, but it is not indicative of you getting to some finish line. A good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. Y'all, we got to run. It's time to go. It's time to show people who we are made of, what we are made of, how we are made of every single piece about it. It's time to get loud. It's time to get proud. Like Tiffany said, it's time to put the gas down. I want you guys to really, really know, like I say every single week, for every single one of you, it is my greatest blessing to be running alongside of you. It is my greatest honor to continue to represent you and to be here to do everything in my power to help you guys have the runway that you deserve, to have the simplicity in our opportunity that will attract the entire world to the happy couple. You guys are the pioneers. We're gonna knock down the forest together, but the really cool part about knocking down this forest together is that when we're done, we get to look back on all of the development, on everything that was created by our efforts each and every one of you. It is my greatest honor to walk alongside of each and every one of you. I hope that you have an abundant and a blessed rest of your evening. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you on our super on our uh, masterclass this Saturday with Eric mm -hmm. Warren. Make sure you're checking the email. As always, if you're not getting emails, check your spam folder. If you are not um, getting uh, the text messages, Make sure you're reaching out to customer service or myself via email. And I'm sure we will make sure that you get on there. But Brian, everyone else on here, Courtney, all of you guys, I appreciate you guys. God bless you. We will talk soon. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.